first off, I did the skillet bread where I fried it and everything, and um, it was it came out really good. I can't keep my husband off of it. Uh, this was just um, self-rising flour, and we just put a little bit of water with it and just kind of made little patties out of it and fried it, and um, it came out really nice. And it, it was this was really good. He really liked it. I put a little. Um, I did either olive oil or vegetable oil in it, and I fried it, and it turned out really good. Almost came out like a little patty for like a hamburger or a sandwich or something. And you can do them all different sizes. And uh, I had four. <laughs> but he can have these now. And then um, I did a, uh, a skillet bread, and this is just um, plain flour. Uh, this was self-rising flour. Let's see, was it self rising? No, this is all purpose flour. Uh, this had three cups of um, all purpose flour with um, baking soda and baking powder in it. And uh, this was, uh, this was, came out really good. The uh, texture on this one was really nice. As you can see, um, it is a uh, very, very, um, airy but not too airy and it, it held up you could actually put um, some seasonings in this one uh, this one could do like garlic and chives or some or just a little butter it's really good it turned out really nice and that was a skillet bread and I liked it and uh, this can hold up for probably a couple of days then I did um, I did the <laughs> substitute the beer for the uh, yeast. And I just did like the recipe said, except I omitted the yeast and I put the beer in. Um, I didn't like it at all. I don't know if I did something wrong, but it just absolutely just did not rise. It didn't proof like um, rise before and then bake it. Didn't do that. Tried baking it, maybe help it out. Nothing. It was really dense. Um, as you can see, it's still doughy. It never rose. So I'm going to have to go back and see what I did wrong. Um, again, it's trial and error. So making bread is new to me, like this. So um, I did the Jim, uh, the Gordon Ramsay bread with the, uh, I did wheat and uh, white, and I did the self rising um, white flour. And I liked it. This one, as you can see, I have actually have three samples up here. Um, so the first one, I'll show you how to back up a little bit here. I, I did the little loaves, and um, my batter for some reason came out too loose and it became really dense. And so this came out like like doughy hard. I don't know how to explain it. It didn't mix well. There was something wrong with it. I've made this before. So I thought what I did different was is I added, excuse me, I added butter in this. And I think that's what changed the texture of it because it is doughy. And it didn't mix well at all. Like the flour and everything in it, it was self rising flour. I did according to the directions I have on my other uh, video I shared. And uh, I think it's just because I added um, too much liquid, too much butter. And um, you have to be careful because. Um, you have to convert your your uh, cups into what they use in the milliliters and kilograms and all that. So it might have been just an off on because I added too many liquids. And then I turned around and I went ahead and I made loaves and I redid the recipe. So what I did was is I followed the directions and this one's looser. Um, as you can tell, the top isn't as smooth and it was more of a pour and batter. And this came out really flaky, like it was nice. Like, the, with the wheat, uh, self-rising wheat and self-rising um, wet, uh, wet flour. Very flaky, not dense at all, really turned out nice. This was with the beer batter. Just could have a sandwich with it easily, not a problem. I did this one a little bit denser. This one had a little bit more thickness to it. Um, it wasn't as airy as this one, as you can tell. See the difference? Um, This one was more pour in. You can tell the top was in the smooth. This one was more dense. I was even, I was like, kind of like, 
uh, more pasty and I kind of pasted it like smeared the top smooth. This one I could not. Big difference. But it, I mean it's just the density on it isn't as bad. I mean this one's really airy. This one just has a little bit more hole but it, they're still good. I just had a little bit more flour in this one than I did in this one. That's nice. Nice bread. I like it. I could use this for like making sandwiches and stuff too. And I could also do sandwiches with the skillet bread and the um, the fried bread. I could definitely make uh, burger patties out of. And it would almost remind me of these. Almost remind me of um, doing a pancake, except it wasn't sweet. And um, which we need to do the wheat more than we do need the white. But <laughs> but again, be careful of adding too much liquid because it will make it uh, too too dense. And that one will cost. Um, I did make an brick the other day, and this one came out really good. And I have a, my own recipe I follow, and this one came out really good. And uh, mm, that one looks good. Can't can't beat banana bread. Waste not, want not. So my bananas went bad, and don't want to waste any food. So make sure we make sure we used everything. All right. Well, I think I'm done for today's test. I'm gonna. Um, later try some more recipes and try to figure out how everybody's making the bread with the beer and uh, see what I did wrong and I'm going to go back and look at my recipe and see uh, see how I can change that. Anyhow, now we've got some bread to eat and y'all take care and listen to the news.